Oh, yeah. A little wild earlier this morning as oh. all the reminiscing was going on because tonight in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in Heinz Field, Big Ben Roethlisberger takes his last ride as a Pittsburgh Steeler in Pittsburgh. Woo! Tone Diggs, how are the emotions, cuz? How is the composure, or how have you been able to get through this show without breaking all the way down? Uh, as the day goes on, I'm starting to get more of that nervous anxiety, excitement type of feeling. You know how, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right? Sure. I mean, Hines is going to be fucking electric. Ben... The Steelers actually have won 19 straight Monday Night Football games. Ben is 25-2 and one in the regular season against the Browns. Whoa, 13 and 0, I believe, at home against the Browns. So, like, let's cap off this fucking beautiful career at home in Hines against the Browns, who did not make the playoffs, even though they were supposed to win the Super Bowl. I just think that that would be the perfect cap to his career at Hines. And then, you know what? Icing on the top. Knock the Ravens out of the playoffs next week. Oh, oh mama, I did fear for my life from the law, arm of the law. What is Brett Michaels going to do tonight? He's not oh, going to be there. Man. Brett Michaels is yeah, making is. an appearance tonight. Yeah, Are you is. kidding yeah. me? He's definitely in there. I come Here down and like go, those curtains. Big ben. Here we go. Here we go, Big Ben. Here we go. Brett Michaels ain't going to let Ben take his final ride alone. Uh -huh. <laughs> Joining us now is a man who joins us every Monday through Friday from an attic in Ohio, a college football national champion, Super Bowl champion, all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers, Ryder Cup champion, and COVID survivor, ladies and gentlemen, A.J. Hall. AJ! What do you think Brett Michaels is doing tonight, A.J.? Well, I, uh, I connected about five minutes ago, so I actually was hoping I could just kind of hang out and watch the show as a fan and, and let, see how deep you could go into the Brett Michaels uh, conspiracies for tonight. I'm sorry I didn't know you had been on this entire time, although Zito probably told me we were so balls deep in the conversation about Big Ben's last ride in Heinz Field. I think this is a real thing. Don't you think, AJ? I think this is a real thing. I think this is going to be a great Steelers performance tonight. Maybe Ben's a little, you know, gun shy early. Yep. Maybe it's a little tight. Maybe it's a little tight. But then once he gets going, there's going to be all the vintage Roethlisberger tonight. We're going to see him, you know, you know, scrambling. <laughs> We're going to see him moving. Yeah, yeah. We're going to see him doing everything tonight. I'm excited for it. This is going to be like a, uh, a recap video of a man's career. I assume that is actually going to be the case. Uh, I mean... I, that sounds great. Like, if this was a, a movie that we're watching that maybe Kevin James is playing the head coach of the other team, possibly this could happen. But not uh, – I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but that's not guarantee. Like, you're acting like this is a 100% guarantee. Ben's going to be making all kind of Ben plays. Yeah, yeah. The Steelers are going to roll. Yeah. Miles Garrett's what, not going to play. Is he just going to take well, a knee? Like, what are you going to do? Do you not know Ben? At all? Yeah. Come on. He's unbelievable. He's amazing. I hope no. that happens. I yeah, hope but also Ben's going to Ben too yeah. tonight. Uh, yeah. this, is, this is Ben's going to get his shots up tonight. What are you even talking about? There's going to be a lot of shots. Are the rest of the boys ready to rally around him, though? Yes! Yeah. Are you kidding me, Sources, Tom Diggs? Okay. Sources are telling me the boys are fired up and ready to go. Now, on the <laughs> other side, now that the Browns are out of the playoffs after yesterday, do they are they coming out a little lackadaisical, or are they also fired up because they don't want Ben's last ride? to be all over them. Hey, in your epitaph, you know, you're born here, you die here, then there's that dash in there. Mm -hmm. For every Cleveland Browns player, I'm sure they don't want it to be in there that they fucking were the losers in Big Ben's last game. No, they don't like give a fuck. Yeah, too bad. I don't think any of them. <laughs> that, that old Browns team, I think they're just trying to put out good film right now, right? I assume that's what they're all doing right now. Yeah, they, they want to go out there and, and play well and try to win a football game. I don't think they're too worried about, hey, uh, we don't want to be on the team that Ben Roethlisberger beat in his, not his last regular season game, but his last home game he played mm -hmm. with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I agree. And it's also Cleveland, Pittsburgh. It's always going to get chippy. Let's just assume uh -huh. that. Let alone when Brett Michaels is out there riding around with a bunch of Huskies. You yep. know what I mean? Of course. And, and he's in the back of one of those snow sleds. Yeah. I mean, look out for Ben, <laughs> Brett Michaels. Ben Roethlisberger hand the ball off to Brett Michaels in the fourth quarter. Ooh. <laughs> get Brett in. Have you ever seen – I mean <laughs> – I had no idea that Brett was Brett's this. in his 50s, I think. So? Hey, Ben's last game, it's probably the last opportunity Brett Michaels is going to touch a ball in an NFL game. Yeah, right. I think there's a chance Brett mentions that. You say, like, Brett was going to run out with him at the tunnel. You think Brett taps him right before they run? He's like, hey, Ben, try to get me in the fourth. I, got some, I still got a few good carries left in me. I got yeah. Chris Angel's football pads on underneath. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I got the Steelers. You got the Browns? 
Yeah, what is uh, Steelers minus two and a half, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. I'm a little surprised they're favorites. They weren't. For... They, yeah, they were getting points. And then we heard Brett Michaels is going. What? And, what? And, and, and former teammates. And then Kiesel said, I'll be there. And then mm-hmm. Billy Gardell's filming a commercial Gardell. there probably. Bingo. Yep. All Brett. these things started happening. Tony Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Brown caught a cameo. That mm-hmm. might have been, I mean, that has to three? make Ben feel good if he sees the cameo. Right. Absolutely. A lot of reminiscing videos about how great Ben once was and Ben seeing videos of what he used to do and he's going to give it a go tonight. I mean, look for the show tonight. I love you. Go on, Tom. I'm nervous. Why? I'm nervous. I mean, not on the line. What do you mean, nothing on the line? <laughs> Still has another game after this, too. Yeah. Playoff hopes yeah, are still this alive. Is home at Heinz. This is at Heinz. Seven's man. last game at Heinz. Kick the shit. You would never understand, <laughs> AJ, because whenever you think about that, you know, it's not supposed to hit as hard as it does. And then you start thinking to yourself, man, I remember, I remember watching the Super Bowl in the hockey house down there at the University of Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. middle of Oakland. And then Steelers win that Super Bowl because of Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. And then all of Oakland ends up on fire. People climbing, telephone poles and lights and everything like that. Yeah. That memory that was hilarious and etched in my brain forever is all because of Ben. And those are the things I think a lot of Yinzers have been doing is the celebrations and the, the gobble ghoul that has happened because of Ben Roethlisberger. And tonight, you just have to remember all of those things. It's going to be a big time. We thank you, Ben Knight, I think. Yeah, yeah. not everyone just plays the game for a paycheck. Okay, AJ? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, if Ben doesn't play well tonight, are you still going to have the same enthusiasm? Like, towards what? Towards Ben and his whole career. Yeah, yeah, I will. But it would be nice if he he got his flowers tonight. Well, speaking of flowers, uh, a bomber just flew over. Yeah, a self bomber. Thought we were going to potentially become a gravel pit there. (laughs) Might be preparing for. Why are they flying over? What was that? That was very. Came from the Rose Bowl, probably. Well, preparing for the national championship, maybe doing a test flight. Oh, because probably do one on Monday. The Natty one week from today. Windows open. Everybody's coming to Indy. Come on in. Yeah, sweet. The water is fine.